Calling late. The world right once now, a week. Especially teachers. Not that we people. should keep account of everything. You said to. What? So I'm the world I'm right talking now. to myself. You don't see I'm talking to myself. Huh? The it world it now? It teaches to keep count of everything that you do as a record. How? Your you world, especially. No, let yes. me not open my mouth. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ha! <laughs> huh. Not the Prophet's world. Not Allah's world. Not the world of the saints. Not the world of the Prophets. No. No. You may say. Ah, uh, tamam. And, and you're saying that how not, not don't count how do you get rid of that thing that you have be around with? people who don't count and be ashamed of yourself look up to them and look down on yourself you understand you have to spend time with them otherwise this is not a mental exercise this is not a psychological exercise no you be with people that you see they don't have anything and they're so happy and you see Allah is giving. You see one way or another something is happening there. And then your faith will increase. Because now you're putting your faith, if I work, I get money. When I get money, I can take care of things. What a stupid logic is that? It's so stupid. It's so privileged. It's actually not privileged. It's very stupid. There are so many people who don't work at all. And they get everything. You know Big Bok? No, TikTok. Those people don't work. They get millions. Correct or no? There are millions of people who work so hard. How much are they, how much are they getting paid pennies in a day? Yes? Whose mind do you want to think now? According to whose mind? If you want to think according to this world's mind, this dunya, Ahir Zaman, Dajjalic era dunya, you can believe that. You can still call yourself Muslim or Tariqat or Sufi or it doesn't matter. You can believe that. You're gone. You're finished. Because it's not the way that Allah and His Prophet is telling us how to think. It's not the way how the friends of Allah, they think. That's why I'm saying, especially this quality of generosity is in everyone. Allah is not saying, okay, only white people have it, black people they don't. Or only Chinese people they have it, brown people they don't. Or males have it, females they don't. No, it's given to everyone. This generosity is in everyone. Just as the ego and everything in it is in everyone too. So these divine qualities is also in everyone. Then there are certain ways of lifestyles, systems, cultures that promote that and there are certain cultures that don't promote that so much. You understand? And Allah did not leave us alone. He sent thousands of teachers, hundreds of thousands of saints to wake us up. And we wake up, we go back to sleep. We wake up, we go back to sleep. Now, in these times, for us now here, first we have to know that it's a wrong way of thinking. You want to break it? That is a wrong way of thinking. To count everything. Don't count. How are you going to learn not to count? Follow your guide, or you, the guide may say, follow, follow Ajib Bilal, go work in the barn. Talk to him, spend time, spend time with them. See how happy they are. And look up to them, don't say, ah, everyone is giving to him, that's why he's not. Really? I know who gives. I know who doesn't give. Does he care? He doesn't care. Then there are others too. It's not only him. Then there are others who live like that. Then there are some who work so hard, yet they are very generous. And you see, their spirit is different. Then you see others who work so hard, and never once I will ask them for zakat, and I will not ask them for zakat as long as I live. Just like Ibn Salama's situation. I will never ask. You understand? They work hard. They earn so much.
but they're not generous. They're very calculating. To who? To the believers. They will not even let them borrow like one screwdriver. Why? Yeah, he's going to lose it. Well, even if he does, it's a blessing that that one is using your thing. If you believe, but you don't believe, that's why. And you know, you can afford billions of screwdrivers? You idiot. But we don't say. That is very, for a man not to have guidance in this world, it is the most dangerous thing. He can have knowledge, wealth, position, family, everything, but he doesn't have guidance. Most dangerous because shaitan will be his guide. He can trick himself to say this or that, doesn't matter. You see them making wrong decision after wrong decision after wrong decision. There is no happiness, there is no satisfaction. Do you understand? So be with those who are generous, learn then what is, what is in their heart, how they look at things, how they look at Allah. Because for sure, we, people are also thinking, to be generous means you give your money, you can never become rich if you give your money. Allah is saying the complete opposite in the Quran. This is ayat. Okay. Then there are Muslims who teach their kids from young to, ever since they're young, they say, you, you have to ca- calculate everything. Don't you see how successful I am? And they grow up thinking this is how it's supposed to be. Until we met Shah Fendi, we understand how the Dargah works. But that doesn't mean you have to be irresponsible. You cannot now say, okay, I want to be generous, I got my paycheck, so pizza is for everyone. You understand? So it's not like that too. Don't smile. It's not like that too. You cannot, you cannot be dumb. Because now, it's very easy. Chef, and he's doing that? He's blowing his paychecks on pizzas for everyone? No. He's doing things, this, this. So there is a way also. You cannot also be good, but doing it your own way. Because shaitan and your ego will hijack it. You understand? It's okay now, maybe, because you don't have any dependence. But... That's not going to be forever. You have no right, even you have no one depending on you. So, now, you have children. How are you going to teach them? How are you going to teach them step by step? You'll know how you're supposed to teach yourself. Don't make them to be interested in money at a young age. Don't make them to sit down and count money with you. If there is money, say, this one, take this, give to that one. Take this, give to that one. Take this, buy this, give to that poor person, give this. So they associate that with just giving. Money is not keeping, it is giving. Take this, put it in the sadaqah box, very good. Take this, buy this, do this. So things, from money to candy to things, teach them generosity. So the association with things now, it is to give people to make them happy. When they are happy, you are happy. This is the payment. You understand? Now you, people, they don't regard the payment of generosity. They only look at the loss. I lose 10,000 if I give, but they don't understand. This is going to help this. It's also part of the way of the system works. Where we're living here, we don't see poor people anywhere. We don't have the the, uh, pleasure and the, let's say, uh, the blessing of seeing someone hungry, buying them something, and they're eating and they're saying thank you, regardless of their religion or whatever. Yes? But there are other ways. There are other ways of doing that. That's why Jamaat is important. So, the kids now, all they know is 
I take this, doesn't matter to them, it's candy or diamonds. They don't know the difference. Same to And I give to someone and my friend is very happy. I like that. And my friend treats me nice. And then I like to make my friend happy. And other people, Baba and Ana are seeing me doing that and they are happy with me. That should be the mentality of every believer with Allah. It's not what is in their hands. It's what Allah sends to their heart. Yes? So, do you feel pleasure when you give? Or do you feel that if I give, I lose something? Change that. You understand? Make it into a practice. And that time, Allah will put that payment for generosity into your heart. And as Shaykh Andy says, that time nothing in the world or even in the heavens can replace that. When you're generous and you give it to someone. Then watch. In this way, watch. You see, we see in front of our eyes. You give one, Allah gives seven. Seventy, seven hundred, seven thousand, we see that. What if you give it to believers and they pray for you and Allah is happy? Oh, more. So, do it responsibly. All those little voices that your father, your mother, your uncle, your, in your head, tell them to shut up. You understand? Tell them to shut up, don't speak. Then amplify the voices of your shaykh, of the awliyas, amplify that. If you have to uh, do, why you say that? Um, you repeat something in front of mirror, what you say? Affirmation. Affirmation. It's brainwashing, right? Affirmation is brainwashing. I am beautiful, I am beautiful. Man is, woman is melting, so I am beautiful, I am beautiful. So you can do that too. You can brainwash affirmation with good good words. You understand? Inshallah, that time you will see what is the benefit of that. You're making Allah happy, you're making believers happy. What else? You will see your relationship to things change. You will see that uh, it is not so tight anymore. Not only that, I mean your attachment to it is not tight. Not, not only that, you will start tasting <coughs> what you have more. People who are selfish, they never taste. They never taste things. They don't let themselves to enjoy because they always think that they're getting cheated. But when you're generous, you always give because you know this, I give. Whatever that is there, Allah puts the blessings in there. Whatever that you have, you will taste it more than, peop than usual people do. Whether it's your children, your possessions, your time, then that shows the blessing that is there. And when you enjoy it, you do not forget Allah. This is what real enjoyment means. You taste it and you say, oh Allah, shukur Ya Rabbi, this is so nice. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Ya Rabbi. And when that happens, the, you become more humble. And you say, I really don't deserve this. You're giving me, thank you. Please don't test me. But if you have to, then give me more strength and faith. Then your faith increases. Then you're having this whole dialogue with your Lord. You understand? That's why it's important also, from young, all these kids, they should be busy in the farm, feeding the animals, taking care of them, having pets and everything. You understand? From a young, you see them. Who is not happy when they're feeding ducks? You have to be a monster. Huh? You don't have to have religion. You take some dry bread, quack, 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 you give to the duck, the duck's eating. Ducks even not saying thank you. Maybe they're saying thank you, but you get very happy, yes? Something transforms in you. You feel lighter. 
teach them from a young age. And that time you look, whatever you teach, and then you ask Allah that that lesson goes to you ten times more. And shut those voices off. Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum.